All right, greetings family. This is Bomani Tamba. Welcome to our Africa for the Africans conference call, and this is June 17, 2018. And this uh, conference call is in reference to our upcoming Ghana tour, November 16th to the 26th, 2018, and May 22nd to June 4th, 2019. And also, um, the other tour that we have beyond those two are, is South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Botswana, and that is November of 2019. So those are the three tours that we have, family. And all the details for all of our tours can be found on our website, africafortheafricans.org. All right, family, so what I want to do is go to a list of the uh, conference call uh, topics, and in going through the topics, we'll go to also just a lot of details also. And this is more of a summary of all of the details, just to, so everyone who's coming with us on the current Ghana tours is clear about where everything is at. We started the Africa for the Africans Tours and Investment in October of 2006. And the first tour that we had set is Ghana Tour, December 2006. And that was like a nice sack final mission, and that was uh, eight of us total. Once we went to Ghana on that initial journey, we came back, I basically just built an energy for, for Ghana, because Ghana had all of the elements of things that, you know, we wanted to do to put together a nice uh, program as far as dealing with repatriation and investment. And also all of my elements of this, my understanding about this traveling to Africa, this came in this, us just studying you know, books and watching videos and just doing our research. And, you know, our traveling became the practical aspect of it. So uh, the next uh, tour that we had was Ghana, October, 2007 and that was um, 42 of us that was the largest group we had at that moment and the second largest uh, overall and from that time we built the energy of just doing an annual Ghana repatriation investment tour every October all the way up to um, October 2016 and we did a few other tours in between but um, what we want to show you is just the flow of what we've been doing over the years to where the last tour that we came from made a 14 journey of a lifetime tour and uh, between uh, last year and this year, we have split it to where we've been able to do two tours, one in May and one in November. So the elements of uh, all of these uh, things that have built came to where we have built uh, just a vast experience on this traveling to Africa, linking people with investment business. Uh, so I'm always telling everyone, once you connect with me and you want to know more about anything that's going on, just you know, let's talk and go through things. And once you're in the country, uh, remember, you know, if you need to know anything, you can come and talk to me about anything as far as what you need to know as far as connections and business because the main thing is we put together a program and our program is to make sure that uh, you're, you're linked with the best of our people that uh, is going to look out for your best interests. So a lot of times if you're in a country and you're connecting and you're networking, you know, just you know, be careful about who you're connecting with. Uh, so more of what we have is just uh, in-house connection and all the people that you're going to meet at our business and investment conference are just people that we have known for a long period of time and you know we've all built trust together with each other so that's why we use that as a way to build in a comfort zone now also one of the things that we you know we're looking to do more of is take you around the country to where you see more land sites and, uh, and more communities that way you can get an idea of where you want to live if you want to live and do business but beyond that, uh, you know, you're looking at an incredible tour across uh, three to four regions. The uh, November tour is a shorter tour, and that's nine days. That's three regions that we're going to stay in. And the May tour is a longer tour that we have, 13 days, uh, four different regions. So the, the details that was sent to you is basically just to get you clear as far as this, um, where information is. So let's start with the uh, website, africafortheafricans.org. So once you're on the uh, website, what you're going to see is an uh, uh, audio playlist to your left, a uh, slideshow to your right. And the slideshow is more of some of the older pictures. Uh, I'm going to put some 2017 and 2018 pictures on there uh, this summer. What you want to do is uh, you want to look to the main menu to your, to your left. Now, if you're using a mobile device, uh, phone, or a tablet, you you won't you won't see the, the audio or the slideshow presentation. It will just be everything but that. But the main thing you want to focus on is the main menu. 
the main menu for our website that's give you all of the tour details. So what you see is Ghana tour November 2018 and Ghana tour May 2019. Now all of the tour details that we have uh, right there is once you click on the link, it will open up and then you'll see a full tour itinerary, tour overview, general terms, departure and reminder list, uh, translation, and so on. It's just a full segment of details and those are what we're going to go over, but also th those are the initial information that you can look through to be clear about what the tour is about, what hotel we're staying at, uh, our policy of, as far as um, the schedule and things like that. Uh, everything is there for you to be clear on. One of the biggest things that we have always had issue is the lack of individuals reading the details and being clear on a schedule, even when we put it together in the, in the tour book and it's where you can just read through it every day and be clear on what you're doing. Um, that's one of the most important things when you pay for a package is the itinerary, the general terms, and the overview. That, that clarifies everything that you're going to do. Anything beyond that, you need to have a direct conversation with before you go on a tour and not after. Uh, so these are all the things that we're going through so everyone can be clear on what we do so they can compare to other packages that they're looking at before you make a commitment to journey with us. The, one of the things that made this journey, the journey of a lifetime, is the incredible people that we have on a journey. And that becomes that way when everyone is clear on details. So um, what I want to do is go down to some more information. Uh, the main menu also have our complete uh, Ghana tour books of the last several tours. So these are all digital copies of you know, the previous book, and you'll get an updated copy once we, you know, once we meet you uh, on tour. And the purpose of this tour book is the full program of our, our, our tour package. Uh, it deals with so many different things, routes, culture, business, investment, um, nightlife, shopping, networking. And it's all mixed into those details. And those details are mixed into where it gets you prepared and clear on what the process and what we do as far as the tour. So I always just recommend everyone to you know, take a look at it, uh, click and just navigate through it. There's a PDF and also there's a, a flip book. Also, I got the uh, conference call link, which just gives you updates about the next conference call and also the links to the uh, recording. And going down, um, uh, payment options. So once you click on payment options, it just gives you a list of payment um, options, whether you want to do PayPal, Zelle, Quick Pay, you can do a check or money order, but all the payment options is there. All right, so family, those are um, the initial details on the website. I'm going to click on the Ghana November 2018 link. Yeah, perfect. So it's, uh, these are all fresh articles, so they just have a few hits. Um, but uh, that's all your details here. I'm looking at the tour overview. All right, cool. So the tour overview um, just talks about what's included. So what's included in all of these packages, your, uh, your flights from wherever you are. So whatever your closest airport is, that's the airport I work with to get your flight on the uh, Delta Sky Team Network, which includes uh, KLM. So all the flights are, are set connect directly to Amsterdam. From Amsterdam, we go directly to Ghana. Uh, so that's our segment. So once you look at the actual uh, itinerary, it will just show us from Atlanta to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Ghana, and back. Uh, other thing that's uh, rest of the things that's included is uh, the transportation and tours throughout Ghana, uh, da daily uh, exercise meditation session, daily continental breakfast and gourmet dinner, uh, hotel accommodation, double occupancy uh, based on um, age, two people to a room, two separate beds. Uh, business and investment conference, entrance and access to all sites and activities. And those are just the standard things that's included in all of our tours. And the standard things that's not included is uh, lunch, uh, group tips of $50, uh, any camera slash camcorder fee, um, visa fee, which is $60 for single entry or $100 for mul multiple entry. So those are the standard things that's uh, included not included. So. That's what we consider a full package. Now, um, in the November tour, we're looking at uh, three regions. So while we're in Accra, we're, the first day when we get there is the nighttime, uh, so it's just nightlife. The second day, we go out to the mountains, and uh, the third day, we go out to the city. Uh, so it's, um, you know, once we get in, you just 
we have two tour days and, and the other day naturally the travel day. Now this is a nice simple route. Uh, we'll leave from Accra and go directly to Kumasi. That's a five hour drive. And once we get to Kumasi, um, we're going to be staying at the Micklin Hotel, which is the same chain of hotel that we stay in Accra. Micklin Accra is a two star hotel and Micklin Kumasi is a three star hotel. Very nice suite. And that's the brand that we have now, over the years, have, based on different hotels that we have used, this is the brand that works for us to give us the at home feel and nice luxury feel where you know we have all of your your, your natural um, amenities uh hot water a c uh, big rooms you have uh, access to this a nice compound um, everything is just in walking distance as far as shopping anything you need to get access to so both hotels are in a nice social area where we use that environment to you know walk to our nightlife or just uh, enjoy ourselves in that um, community. What we do in Kumasi, uh, we're looking to do two days. It's broken up to where it's you know it's a it's a city tour uh, and shopping uh, the first day, uh, the craft villages, the culture center. Uh, the next day we're doing the same thing too, the light city tour, uh, shopping, visit the Ashanti Palace and also the uh, military uh, museum. So it's a nice little you know, three days in Kamasi to, to balance it out. So the itinerary is set to where you're not moving a whole lot and you're able to just enjoy some time at your location. And the last three days is going to be at Cape Coast, Elmina. Now, One Africa does not have hot water or AC. So for those who want hot water or AC, I automatically will put you at the almond tree. Um, one Africa reservations is based on those who pay their deposit uh, first. So if you pay a deposit uh, first, you just automatically have priority to where, if you want to stay at One Africa or not. Um, eventually, once One Africa fill up, you know, you're there at the almond tree. And these are both um, bed and breakfast style um, oceanfront uh, resort to where you can, you know, they're not too far apart, less than a mile apart. So the bus you know, go down the street and make its way up. So we'll work those logistic details out. But for the most part, uh, right now, uh, we can fit the first 24 people at one Africa. Uh, so, and if those, if you want a single room, uh, there's no single room at one Africa, but if you want a single room for the other two hotels, we can get, get that single room to you as far as the single room supplement. And if you still want to stay at one Africa, we'll just pair you with somebody else. Uh, and if you just literally just want a single room the entire way, then that's fine. We just have to keep you at Almond Tree. So those are the things that this, I want everybody to be you know, clear on so we can communicate about it. That way everything is clear and you know, we can just be there and focus and enjoy ourselves on the uh, journey. All right, so family, what I want to do is just open things up for some questions. And uh, remember, you have to press star six to meet yourself, star six to unmute yourself. Um, Brother Bomani, this is Courtney. I know you've covered this before, so uh, humor me with another answer, please, because I've forgotten. If you, is it possible for someone to have a single room for the entire tour, or is it just for those who are opting out of staying in one Africa? Yeah, this, it, it just really depends on what you want. If you want a single single room for the entire duration, uh, I, I can't put you at one Africa. I can only put you at Almond Tree. But if you want a single room only at, uh, you know, in Kumasi and Accra, and then you're open to using your priority and staying at One Africa and share a room with someone else, then I can you know, do that also. So it's, it, it really all depends on this laying out things as much as far as as options as possible. Yeah, and is there is there an extra charge for having a single room? Yes, uh, the single room is, I'd have to look at what I have. Um, for the main journey, um, I just, I just adjusted it to 550. It was at 600 for 550. And then for the November journey, it's 400. And that's for a single room for the duration for each journey. Other than that, the uh, tour package price that you're paying for includes uh, two people to a room. So it would be an extra, I, I think I missed it. Would it be an extra 600, you said? For it's, a single it's, room? It's, it's an extra 550. And what you want to do is. Um, extra 550, okay, and, thanks. The documentation, what I have, is on the tour overview. Um, okay. And in this one, the, the tour overview shows the tour package for November 2950, and it shows a single room for 400. And uh, so 
the one for Mesha was thirty seven hundred and a single one for five hundred and fifty. Got it. Okay. Thank you very much. Perfect. You're welcome. All right, uh, Jonathan, are you uh, up? Brother Bumani, yeah. hear me? Yes, uh, you're unmuted. Yeah, I just want to um, you know, let everybody know that you're coming as one of the one of the uh, the tour assistants along with my younger brother, Sean. And if you just want to give a brief introduction about yourself. And that's, and that's, yeah, that's yeah. it. Cool. Uh, gr- uh, greetings, family. Uh, this is uh, your brother, Jonathan Hill. Um, I'm in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, and I'm here. I, uh, I, I just recently um, graduated from uh, FSU, and I'm just working as a transportation planner. Um, but just a little bit briefly about myself, uh, I met Brother Bomani maybe over three years ago and have been really interested in uh, Pan-Africanism and nation building on the continent and reconnecting sisters and brothers back to the continent of Africa. Um, more than delighted to come on this trip and excited to be a tour assistant um, and just really uh, soaking up the culture there and, and learning from Brother Bomani. Well, excellent, brother. Um, you know, just enjoy the journey, and then you know, you you know, just you're rolling with us, and and the goal is for us to share all of the energy of how we do this operation. You know, so we can get more and more people involved in the business of tourism. Right. I've uh, watched all of the videos uh, on YouTube, just like I'm pretty sure everybody else here has. I mean, he's one of the main people that I go to YouTube and I watch a lot of YouTube but it's his his videos are always refreshing to see that it's just more than just the talk of just the problem you know what I'm saying and you have the solution right there in front of you and just to know that there's other sisters and brothers that are looking towards you know what we're supposed to be doing is is really a wonderful thing and then you see all the different tours and investments the tour and investment videos that's really pivotal, you know, just to see that there's different things that we could um, invest in on the continent, um, to know that there's sisters and brothers there with their boots on the ground. That's also a beautiful thing. And uh, just to know that there's somebody with the longevity and the continuity of, of, been, of doing this for over 14 inter- iterations, I think that's really a, um, a beautiful thing. And um, I think if, you know, we go there and, sister and brotherhood and really just focus on reconnecting we're going to have a good time you know we just have to remain you know together and and make sure that we're following all the safety precautions and following after um the leadership of brother Bomani I think that we'll we'll have a good turnaround here I appreciate you Jonathan thank you very much and it's also about it's about um you know we have rules and process in and at the end of the day, it's just for our own safety and to make sure business and things run smooth. So we have made, uh, as I've always done on all tours, just make a bunch of adjustments. And it's not, all, and I was never really saying that, that, that things went wrong or we didn't do something right. It's about consistently working on a level of elevation to build this, to go, you know, beyond us getting better and better, but to do things at the highest level and do it consistently. Because one of the things uh, that you know, you know, broke my heart when you know when I was, uh, you know, just that young student studying, trying to build business, and talking about we should build more black-owned business, is just the the, the bad energy people just shun and you know make it seem like black people are incompetent when it comes to business and things like that. And you know, I've always vowed to you know when I get my chance and opportunity to, to you know to be a business uh, leader, or organizer, or just build my own business. To implement certain things that uh, you know that I thought was at the highest level of professionalism, and brother Jonathan, also like myself, ex-military, and you know we talked um, right when I got back from the tour about you know about the fact that you know I've been doing business you know for 12 years in Ghana, and you know you become the popular person, but at the same time too, you always want to make sure that you have a, your protocol for safety and the way we operate and things like that, uh, because you know you just always got to keep focus. You know, so some of the things we're going to be talking about is for the safety of tour members in general and for not letting one or two individuals interrupt our journey or 
doing things that's going to put the rest of us lives in jeopardy and danger. So we're going to be, you know, throughout the time of the tour, we're going to be going through just a lot of safety things. The main thing that we always want everybody to focus on is when we pull a bus into a location, say, for example, a mall, and we decide we're going to go to the mall for, for whatever reason. And you know, in, in this case, um, a situation I had was we, go, we have to go to the mall to use the AT machines. So that so once you go to the mall and use AT machines, your goal is to get back on the bus, and we have time and things like that. Once people start veering off and doing certain things, it becomes difficult for us to find people. So then now we have to put ourselves in a situation where the individuals who are veering off obviously need more time. So in that case, if the bus leaves you, and because it runs just like on the same schedule like anything else, cruise ship, Greyhound bus, airlines, and it leaves you, you, it's up to you to reach out to us and you know, or reach get a drive back to the hotel or find our location by reaching one of the staff members' cell phone and we give the location to a cab driver and he meets you, meet us. Um, and in, there's in some situation where it's impossible for us to leave unless we have everyone on the bus, which is half of the time and situation. So in that situation, we just really beg for everyone to follow the schedule as best as possible because if we're out in the middle of nowhere and we have to go from one location to the next, we literally can't leave anyone, and we literally don't want to put anyone in that danger. So the safety thing becomes if you get left, you're in, you're, you, you get left in a situation where you can find your way to the, the hotel easy and, you know, or you can get a taxi ride. Um, where we are, it's not dangerous, you're fine. So just want everybody to be clear on that, that um, it's your responsibility to flow at a time, and if you get left behind, we won't accept the fact if you approach us and start yelling and screaming at us and talking to us any kind of way. We have another situation like that, which you know, I'm going to go more into. Uh, those things are unacceptable uh, because, you know, we're, this is a crew of young black professionals running an operation, and we don't want, you know, people to – want everybody to treat us with the same respect as if it was a white captain and a white staff running the bus doing the highest level of professionalism, you know. You know, so in, in this situation, we had a disrespectful uh, tour member that, you know, felt like, you know, just because they were older than me and just because, you know, she's a woman that she, and then I'm supposed to just, you know, and it doesn't work that way. You know, respect the rules, respect how we do business with, you know, because we can't run operations like that. We can't have one person jeopardize any, per, any a whole busload of people. You know, just like uh, Jonathan you know, would tell you in, on a you know, military ship, you know, they don't play games, you know. No matter what you, you know, if you're not there, right, they're gone, leaving you. They have a mission to complete, and at the same time, to, you know. So those are things I want to not beat like a dead horse, but those are some of the things I want to share with because those are some of the energy of things where I had to get back to America and really just share certain things with people in the world in general, uh, not just people that are looking to come on our tours, and also I had some very lazy, disrespectful young men that we gave great opportunities to that didn't want to do their duties. So I did come back and I did, you know, put them on blast because I want all of the future young brothers to understand that we were about young brother leadership. And when we create opportunities for us to build and grow together, we should respect you know, the business of what create these opportunities. So, you know, our goal is to just really take professionalism to a whole different level and just to make sure that everyone that travels with us have the best experience, better than ever before, but also be safe and secure. And we also want to make sure that no one intervenes and disrupt other people's experience because the biggest uh, problems I've had is people who really did everything that they're supposed to do, and then they're like, you know, they were like, what's wrong with this person? This person, you know, why this person is not clear on everything? You went over everything on conference call and all the details. Why is this person not lately clueless? So someone not being clear on details and not being updated affects other people's journey. And, you know, you know, because if I was that, in that person, sure, I'll feel the same way too. You know, it's like, you know, those are some of the things that we just all have to take accountability for. So I just want to just go over those things um, real quick. And if, if, uh, everything is still open for questions. And, Jonathan, if you have anything to add to that, go ahead while I open things back up. Right. Uh, I'd just like to say, yeah, to, to, to piggyback off what he's saying about safety and security, that it, that is a, a major thing. When, you, when we talk about moving as a group, you have to 
everyone has to have clarity on what exactly is going down each day before we go out. So if you look at a, lo a lot of uh, Brother Bomani's videos, he'll have a clip of uh, them doing an activity or an event during that day. But, you know, there's also a safety brief, as we would have in the military before you go out. And um, in each safety brief, everybody is, is briefed on what is exactly happening. And uh, so there's no ambiguity. So I think, you know, again, if that's going to be a major thing, that we're all clear on what's going on and that we all are sticking to uh, moving as a group as opposed to being individuals uh, doing different things. Uh, Jonathan, appreciate that. Uh, so what I want to do is open things up for questions. So press star six to unmute yourself. And just uh, if anyone would like to chime in on this, anything I just said in general, um, before I continue to go on with a few more things. And this is kind of like the foundation for the next two tours. So all the things that I can think about going through, we're going to just talk about it. Hi, this is Marquita Family uh, from Fort Myers, Florida. Um, Bomani, you mentioned the visa. You said there's single entry and there's also um, multiple entry. Will we need more than central, uh, single entry? Um, it depends. Uh, for example, uh, the single entry is only good for uh, three months. So for those of us who are going and you know, once you go and you're not looking to go back within the next one to five years, that is definitely ideal. But you also want to make sure that you get that visa two months before you go, right? And okay. the, the next one is the um, multiple entry visa, which is good for one to five years. Uh, that is $100, so um, you can apply for that one anytime um, because you're going to at least get one year. Uh, so within that one-year time frame, you can apply. But that's if you just plan on you know, going that route. But that's really the difference. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. All right, the line is open for uh, anyone else who have a question. Hi, Bomani. This is Tori. Um, I have a question about the flights. Uh, I'm in Florida as well. And so do you just route everyone individually to Amsterdam, or do you suggest everyone meet up in Atlanta? Yeah, the flight schedule um, from Florida, most of the connections take you directly to Atlanta, and then from Atlanta, we leave together and go to Amsterdam. But in also some cases, um, and it just really depends on when we lock flights now for individual and individuals commit to the journey. Uh, some of the other options also, we have Detroit, um, New York, JFK, and these are all Delta hubs that have direct flights to go to Amsterdam. So it just all depends on the flight availability. But for the most part, uh, your connection is going to go to um, Atlanta. Thank you. You're welcome. Bomani, I actually have one more question. Um, with regards to the visa, um, I know that we can use, I see the note to use the itinerary that you have and the hotel information when we mail that in. Do we also need to, I see a comment about financial documents. Do we need to send like a bank statement as well with the uh, yes. documentation? Yes, uh, that's to verify that you're a real person. So um, yeah, bank statement and it doesn't necessarily have to have any specific amount of money, and if you need to cross anything out, that's fine. But yeah, that's, that is a part of their requirement. Thank you. Thank you. And so perfect. So those are all of the hotels and general overview of the details. Uh, hi, Bomani. This is Alak A. Chewy. I had a question about the uh, the yellow fever shot, I think it's called. I'm trying to find out how or if it's possible to get around that shot because I don't do shots. Yeah, if you don't do shots, um, what you can do is uh, you can get you a, a waiver from your doctor saying that um, you're allergic to the medicine, and that's one option. And then the other option is you can get a doctor that uh, does natural yellow fever or something that's not given in a shot format with uh, those things. So it's something that, you, uh, that we... That, that you may have to just uh, work out. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, and um, so thanks for bringing that up also. So last I was in Ghana,
yellow fever cards were being checked. Um, so it's one of the things where it's something that you can start working on now because I had like a whole lot of people trying to get yellow fever shot the last week before we left. Um, and that becomes an issue because a lot of times you have to make appointment ahead of time. Uh, and anything that's equivalent to yellow fever is also fine, but that's the only medical thing that's needed. Um, you know, and it, it's something that you don't you don't have to send in with your you know, your passport uh, for the visa or anything. It's just something you have to bring with you and show once you get on arrival to Ghana. All right. Uh, also, everyone, the um, uh, every, uh, we are open for questions. And we have another 15 minutes. I want to make these conference calls a little shorter and get right to the point. And uh, also, um, we are going to go more into the itinerary and other things. I just want to give people more chance to look at the schedule. The the new May 2019 uh, schedule is up with the four regions. Um, the new regions, uh, instead of Brangafa region, is, is the western region. So we're going to be in Takarati for two days. So. Those are the uh, only change. Um, so, so just want everybody just to look to you know the tour link on the tour that you're going to. That way, when we do another conference call a month from now, we can just you know get more questions based on the schedules and if, you know if you need clarity on what we're doing and what we're not doing. But the best thing to do as far as to find out about what we're not doing on the the November tour is to read itinerary. Uh, it's a you know it is a short itinerary, but what what you read on there is what we're doing. Those are it. And right now we're at a phase where I just got back from Ghana, so I have uh, all of the Ghana tour highlights on uh, YouTube. And this is just some of them. I'm just, it's still going to take another two months to to load up all of the rest of the footage. Right now I'm at the point where we're at the Business and Investment Conference, and have people asking about why it's so why it's so dark in there. And it's a dark room, but the main thing is we try our best to make sure that the audio is good so people can hear the presentation. Uh, but this covered a whole lot of different subjects, uh, including um, citizenship, food sovereignty, you know, Black Star uh, Credit Union, Lands Commission, um, how to get your land search and register your land. You have a couple who are repatriated to talk about their business and how things are for them, uh, Ghana Investment Promotion, uh, Dr. Sorry talk about health and wellness. So those are the things that you know we have the the full footage of, um, but they're all in short clips, so you can just uh, listen to it and jot questions down. And that way, if you, whatever interest you have when you get to the business conference, these are some of the same people that will be there. Uh, beyond that, um, on the YouTube page, uh, youtube.com forward slash Bomani 2007. Once you get to my page and you actually subscribe to the page, you'll see um, a, different, a list of different playlists. Uh, the main playlist I have up right now is uh, Ghana Tour May 2018 Highlights. And now uh, these are just the fresh highlights of basically the first few days and also took some footage from the last day uh, at One Africa and we went to visit a, another new land site. I put those up earlier. Uh, but beyond that, uh, everything is in segments. Uh, right now, the it, the first video I have is called Bomani and Kobina May 2018 Intro to Ghana Journey. Now, that is an important uh, you know, five minutes. Uh, you know, my part is about four minutes. But what I do when I first get to the country is we do orientation and we go to as much as we can. Literally the same thing that we've been going over. Uh, so it's not new, but uh, you know, sometimes people can you know, have amnesia. So in the video, you hear me t say that uh, we don't want to leave anyone, but uh, you know we'll do our best the first few days to run and look for people, and you know, but it's what it is. So that's my uh, documented proof right there that I explained to people that we're going to leave people because we just can't just sit around wait for everyone. So, uh, and that's always been the situation. You're always going to have a few people who get left. Uh, one day we had several people who wanted us to take the day off and so you know they stay back and relax at the hotel so that's one of the things and then also there's an interview a one hour and 14 minute interview on my page that's the second video for the, the Ghana 2018 highlights it's titled Ghana tour November 16 to the 26 2018 and I'm um, doing a 
a full video with uh, Daniel Samir, as we usually do every once in a while, talking about uh, my Africa experience. So this one mainly I was explaining to him about that uh, we're dealing with situations where we can't compromise safety, security, and we don't want people with certain terrible attitudes to ruin other people's journey who want to have five-star upgrade hotels and things like that. You know, this, you know, is, you know, we can do many, many things, but this specific journey that we have is really for us to enjoy an incredible experience together. So we all tell everyone that it doesn't matter if you're a general in the military or if you are a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, we're enjoying an experience together. And, you know, we want to make sure everybody's clear on that. That way we don't have anyone disruptive with an elitist attitude. Uh, you know, you do have tours in Ghana where you can stay at, you know, Ghana, you know, stay at some fancy hotels and things like that. But to do what we have to do, we have to use what we use to make, you know, because it's a program, a real program that deals with connecting our brothers and sisters to the ancestral roots and giving them an experience. Any variation of the program, it weakens it and it, it's not what, you know, it was meant to be. You know, even that one Africa, you know, we do have that option of hot water, but we really want people to come and enjoy a warm shower. Some of us literally never really experienced that. I mean, you know, and some of us uh, have to also, you know, to get in line with what the rest of the African content in the world. The rest of the world don't always, the majority of the world doesn't have a tap that they can click on that say hot and do all those things. So, you know, we also make some of the journey uh, a nice little experience. But for the most part, this is as luxury as you're going to get you on an air-conditioned bus you have professional people watching out for your safety, security in the daytime, nighttime. You have business and investment people that we're connecting with, with. We're linking with your brothers and sisters who have done wonderful things in Ghana. Uh, we're at schools, orphanage, and we're you know making contributions, donations. You know, it's 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 an incredible experience uh, beyond that. But I always have to add other things in there about not compromising uh, safety, security, and also for us to have the highest level of respect for each other as people, and, yeah, so, yeah. for anyone who saw any, some YouTube videos, I did go buck wild on a few, few of my guys because I just not trying to hear what they're trying to play me and be disrespectful, you know, you, we create these wonderful opportunities for them, and, you know, their, their behavior was unacceptable, uh, you know, I flow with it because I didn't want my journey, anybody's journey to be disruptive, but, we have to change the energy of young black men being lazy. I'm not condemning all young black men. I'm just after you go to a country and you're there for a while, people, more and more people begin to come around, and you just have to like say, hey, you know, we have a business to run, and you know, so on. So when you're in tour with me, you'll see things a little more strict, to where we're not going to let certain people move around and do certain things and intervene in our way. So you do have a group of rosters there in Ghana. Uh, they're not really rosters. They're like guys who just go lock. So I call them fake rosters. And you know, it's like, you know, I do feel, you know, what they, they come from. Like, can I get an opportunity to hang with you guys? And I'm like, all right. So over the period of time, I always just have these opportunities. You want to hang with us? Fine, let's hang with us. And you know, we just work certain things out. Like, you know, my former tour assistant, Righteous. You got, you know, you're trying to just create these opportunities, but it's like. It's, you know, for us, it's not about money. You know, we make sure people financially get taken care of and look out for as much as possible. But when we're working, like, you know, the, you know my crew, our job, my crew is like we got to handle all bags along with the crew that we have at the uh, the hotel. And we handle this, a bunch of other things and we make sure if someone, if people want to go out, we make sure we take them out, make sure they're good to go, make sure they have a good time. And, you know, so... You know, I'm, I'm tired too. I'm tired right now, but it's like it's what it is. We have a job to do that we're dedicated to. And for me, anybody that works around me or work with me, as far as we do, we're business partners. Anything, I you know, I expect the highest level of you know of dedication to work. And I definitely don't want to hear young strong men complaining of doing basic work. You know, it's what we do on tour is simple and easy. You know, I've done it myself without even a crew many times over. Um, we don't even need certain people. But, you know, because if you see a video that say lazy rosters or lazy Edo righteous or so, it's what it is. Uh, you know, these guys are a disgrace to, you know, to, to that opportunity. And it's frustrating, but 
and some people might have handled things different, but this is exactly what I needed to do. Proud to say that we have a nice professional operation that we take into another level with the people that we have, even just a new full staff of folks, because change is important to growth and development. You don't ever want to be around people who are complacent or people who just keep taking advantage of situations. So, you know, you always have to move forward. So it's, you know, that's the hardest thing as a, you know, a business owner uh, that's trying to build something for his brothers and sisters to do. But at the end of the day, we're, our goal is to have the, the best of our folks to do things with because that's the only way it works. Um, we all have to get up every day and put that work in. Anyway, I've been going on long enough. Uh, the line is open for questions, family. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit star six. Unmute yourself and let me know your questions. Well, my name is Courtney again. I'd just like to say I appreciate your attitude about this and your extreme professionalism. That's one of the reasons why I chose to uh, sign up for this tour. So I just want to let you know from a, from a customer's point of view, I definitely appreciate your attitude about this. So thanks, man. Yeah, thank you, brother. Yeah, it's, uh, but we have, you know, I've been down the road with these men where I've talked to them in rooms and we sit down and talk as men and say that, you know, we have to work better together. You can't just accept money and then don't deliver your service. Just like people pay us to deliver our service and we have to do it. So it, it's something that, you know, we don't ever want to, but we have to point out the ones that are and say, you know, not all of us are like this. And this is an example of what we mean by this. So appreciate your energy and also, Brother Jonathan, let me know if you have anything you want to add to this while, before we are close on the conference call in the next few minutes. Uh, uh, yes, family. Uh, again, uh, this is Brother Jonathan. Um, i just letting everyone know, uh, again, with my background, I have uh, five years in uh, the U.S. military, uh, U.S. Marine Corps, and uh, was there uh, for five years. And, and just letting everyone know here that I'll keep my head on a swivel as as far as the safety and security um, during this tour and uh, making sure that we are looked after and to make sure that, you know, professionalism is maintained and um, especially looking after the sisters, um, letting you know that I'm here for you and, uh, and I'm glad to be a part of this trip. Yeah, perfect. Appreciate you. And, um, and the line is open. Um, anyone else have any questions? And right now, I'm still on the YouTube page. Uh, once you stroll down past the, the Ghana Tour May 2018 highlights, you have the Ghana Tour member feedback. So the feedback I just put together, um, these feedback were done the last few days. Unfortunately, um, the goal was to get a lot more feedback, but I had a rough time babysitting a group of grown men to, that, uh, that, I, you know, that was supposed to do the footage for me while I take care of business to get us out to leave for the airport. So um, this is still some good footage um, as far as the, some feedback, some short, some a little long, and it's mixed in with other years also, so that's great also. But that's one of the things we do. We shoot a lot of videos and pictures because even when you're back, you know, you can just go back and, you know, you're like reminiscing and enjoying the experience. Um, so that's one of the things. And also, you know, you have family, friends who, you know, a lot of times they wouldn't see certain highlights and things like that. You can say, hey, see, I was in Africa. This is how it looked. I was on a great time. And, you know, so these highlights are just like, you know, they're so great to where we just had to just share them an open world, which is just YouTube to where people can just see more of the beauty of Africa and want to travel, live, and do business and invest, even if they're not traveling and, and connecting uh, with us. Uh, but that world for repatriation investment, that's our, our life mission. And, you know, this is our documentation. Strolling down the Ghana tour November 2017. So these are just many highlights of the Ghana portion. Uh, the Togo and Benin um, videos, i got to put a new playlist together. But um, uh, Ghana tour conference calls and interviews. Um, Ghana repatriation investment conference. So all the videos from the investment conference the last several years are there in different subjects to give you clarity and details. I got some of our Black Pan-African Consciousness uh, video, uh, African Holocaust Dungeons. I'm going to upload some new ones and then so on. But the main thing, once you're on the um, YouTube channel, you can just click on playlists in general and then you'll see even more playlists. There's just a whole lot of playlists because once you have so much videos, it's over 1,300 videos. So the ideal thing is to just categorize them into playlists. That's our documentation right there.
And the next set of documentation is there on Facebook. We do have a uh, November and a May tour um, group um, for everyone that's just traveling with us because that's where we just post all the pictures and videos and just any uh, details, updates. But to see all the uh, photos from the uh, previous uh, tours, just, um, once you're on my Facebook page, just click on photos and then go to albums. And then once you're in albums, you'll see this galleries and galleries and galleries of this Africa tour footage. And just, you'll see Ghana all over. This kind of documentation is the reason why we just have a full crew of people all the time. Um, and people come as assistants because we just want to have as much documentation as possible to show you know, how we connected to the motherland, right? And that's and ultimately this is our right, biggest right. encouragement. Uh, go ahead. Oh, just yeah, that's a, another uh, excellent point. There's a lot of uh, videos that Brother Bomani has posted, um, and you know, like me, I have it broken down in a different list, whether it's the conference calls or, or the uh, investments or whether it's the land uh, opportunities to develop um, business growth or the Pan-African connection. Um, there's just so much on this trip, and, um, and, and I mean, it is truly a journey of a lifetime. Yes, brother, absolutely. Um, and um, I'm going to just go through these topics to make sure we didn't miss anything. And then ultimately uh, the flow of topics here is, it's a long list of things, so naturally uh, we'll just break it up into segments and we'll go to some more of it on the next conference call and the next one, and then we'll just recycle with just going back over the same information over. All right, so let's, let me uh, open things up for the last set of questions, and then uh, we'll close. Hi, Bomani. This is Alake Chui again. I forgot to say I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee, as of right now. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to know on the visa, you mentioned that um, sending a ba bank statement and something about getting the visa in advance. I want the uh, $100. I want them to have more than um, the small length of time so I can come back and forth. But I wanted to know, did you state that you could get that visa ahead of time? And if so, did I need anything else other than the bank statement? Yeah, as far as the visa, um what I also want you to do is uh, go to the uh, website link. It will say Ghana Visa and download the forms and all of the details are right there as far as the process with the um, with, you know, with getting a $100 money order, where to mail it to, and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, these are just general information we're going over so everyone can literally look over the details and when we do next conference call, we can get some more questions. And then, you know, in this case, we'll probably go more into the, the visa process itself. But uh, the process is really, you, you fill out uh, two blank, um, two applications, and also you have to have a copy of your flight uh, itinerary, which we're working on generating right now as we're booking reservations for flights. So in about, uh, I would say probably in about a week, two weeks, I'm going to, or maybe quick, I'm going to send everyone a Ghana visa detail, and it's going to have a sample copy of the how to fill application out, uh, showing my information, and it's going to have a few other attachments. So that literally is going to give you full details to help you. And then, you know, when we do the next conference call, we'll literally just go through it with everybody also. Absolutely, uh, but as of right now, um, the details is, is still right there on the link. It's just the email is a little easier, but um, you can still get started by looking at what's on the website. Okay. Hi, Bomani. This is Shamir. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, Shamir. I can hear you. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, I joined the call because I'm interested in your tour to South Africa, November 2019. Um, and I wanted to, you mentioned earlier something about information regarding, I guess, the various um, business opportunities like health and wellness and land. Um, did you say that there were videos that were on your website with information regarding that or on the um, on YouTube? We don't have any documentation in South Africa. Um, everything that okay. we have is, is just actually just old, um, and this before we started oh, okay. videos up. Uh, what we have is just all the uh, details for Ghana as far as business conference, land investments, and things like that. So okay. 
whatever the next country we go to, uh, if we're able to get those kind of exposure there in like South African places like that, we're gonna uh, document it and upload it. Okay. Well, I will hang tight then. Thank you. Uh, perfect. Uh, and uh, I should be pushing some more information about South Africa out within the next uh, few months, next uh, two months, and then get every uh, and then get you started. Okay. Sounds great. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, also, uh, one of the questions from uh, did you uh, was it does the details look clear on the uh, website? I'm uh, asking me. Yeah, oh, yes, I'm asking you for South Africa. You know, there's a, the South Africa details for the tours on the website. Uh, well, hours. actually, it's not that clear. I did have some questions, but I know I'm kind of early, so I figured I would actually just wait and do more research. And then as you get more into pushing the tour, then I'll ask those questions then. Um, but, yeah, I did have some questions, but I can hang tight. I'm really early, so. No, no, it's, it's fine. I meant to go over some of the South African information, but yeah, it's perfect. Uh, we have time for questions. Okay, so um, I was looking at, I'm not quite sure if I'm clear on like the pricing. It looks like it's broken down for the different countries. I'm not sure if the pricing under each section is a collective or if it's like you, you can break it up in maybe going to like South Africa versus Zimbabwe or how that works. Well, perfect, great question. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go to South Africa, uh, November 2019 link. I'm going to the uh, tour overview. So um, the uh, South Africa dates I have is November 22nd to the 30th. So uh, the package itself, uh, it's uh, 3,300. And that what you see below it um, is 2,000. And that's for somebody who just literally had their own ticket. And then naturally, you know, the 400 is a single supplement. But the tour itself is 3300 and that's for the South Africa part only. Um, full accommodation including um, all meals and all flights. Right now, the next one, um, the Zambia, Botswana, and Zimbabwe, that's just optional. So for those who are just looking to go to that one, it's an additional 1100 And that's uh, November 29th to December 4th. So uh, if you're looking to just do the whole thing, you're looking at $4,400 for the full package. So the, and this is uh, more... The luxury accommodation, the three to four star um, hotel. Okay, great. So this one isn't as um, like focused on repatriating as Ghana. Oh no, this is uh, for you know this is for somebody that just want to have a nice cultural time in Africa, but also you know it's um, it's river safaris, you know, so called Victoria Falls, and it's you know touristy, and you know you're going to the Lesbia cultural village, and and you're seeing a nice. Very nice hotel, but uh, the Ghana one is just, Ghana is the only country that I've found that I can do that program with, and in South Africa I realized it's a different program. But I guess you've been to Ghana already, right? I have not, actually, um, but I don't think I can make it, I definitely can't do the one in November, and I actually already have travel plans for 2019 when you're going to Ghana. Um, but I do definitely want to do your tours, so I'm going to jump on that South Africa one um, and then maybe in the future maybe get with you on Ghana. But, um, but yeah, I appreciate your information, and um, I'll definitely keep it in mind. Uh, perfect. And also with Ghana, if you just, we can always try to work something out to just get you connected if you and one or two of your friends looking to go. Uh, in this, in that way, you know, just hook you up with some accommodations, especially if you just want to go hang out at One Africa, you know, there's a wealth of knowledge there as far as business investment or population you know, they've been there for 30 years. Okay. Great. All right. I will keep that in mind. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Much. It's a good talk with you. All right. You so, too. family, um, last questions before we close. All right, everyone, appreciate your time. Once again, this is uh, Bomani Tamba, and um, I'll be connecting with everyone in reference to the upcoming tours. So reach out to me so we can get you locked in while we still have space available. The uh, November journey right now, it is 10 of us. And we have space of 25 more. And then um, May journey next year, we have 12 of us. So we have space on both journeys. Whoever we'll make deposit uh, first, that's you have that priority for your choice of uh, the stay at One Africa. Uh, after those Bookings are filled up. Um, you know, everyone else will be moved to Almond Tree or another hotel. 
All right, so family, everyone, take care, enjoy the night, and if you have, you know, you want to reach back out to me, uh, you can always just call me directly or send me an email or send me a message. At right, family, everybody, take care.